Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 6th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we've seen three pretty sizable M class solar flares to talk about, and as well a couple CMEs but none in an earth-facing fashion. Closer look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Pretty active region there on the right-hand side. And as well, cresting in the southern hemisphere, large plasma filament slapping back into our sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here. This is where we'll see two of the M-class solar flares. One of them was in the backside position. Having a look at multi-spectrum. The active regions there. Outgoing M-class solar flare. And as well, plasma filaments in the southern hemisphere. Another look here. This is where we can see our coronal holes. See that bright flash? That was from the most recent M-class solar flare. There is our coronal hole. And we're already being penetrated by the last coronal hole wind stream. The solar winds were upwards of 600 kilometers per second. Amazing images here. Solar Dynamics Observatory. Another quick look at the sunspot regions, which is where we have the blue and the orange activities interacting, or regions interacting, as well a couple pretty big incoming regions there. Solar cycle 25, already well above predicted sunspot numbers. We'll see if we can do that again for February, or sorry, for March. Having a look at the current radio blackout conditions, we are at our two levels. Solar X-ray flux showing those two M-class solar flares, strong M-class. Geomagnetic activity, we hopped up to KP4 earlier today, and that was after our solar winds were bumped up. To over 630 kilometers per second thanks to the incoming coronal hole wind stream. You can always notice because the temperature or sorry the density will not be as much. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral large outgoing CME that was from the most recent or one of the most recent M-class solar flares and then another one here from today's M-class solar flare just grazing Mercury there as it goes around. Alaska 2 showing the last three days of events. The flashes being the flares. And as well, look at those CMEs. Luckily, no more in an Earth facing direction. But this most recent one from the southeast region of our sun was pretty sizable. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 18. Yesterday we had quite a spike up to about 30. This is the latest telemetry. Amplitude of 18, quality of 9.3, power 26. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As we just had most recently, 5.8 earthquake. In the Fiji region at a 526 kilometer depth at a Couple deep earthquakes through Fiji today. 557 kilometer depth, Lavuka. That was the deepest the past 24 hours across the planet. 4.7 there, Kermadec Islands. And as well, a 5.8 earthquake here to report late last night in Macquarie Islands, south of Australia. Activity through the Philippines today, 4.8, as well, 4.5 and a 4.8 here through Indonesia. 5.1 earthquake here, Nicobar Islands, India region, as well a 4.0 here in Abhan, Pakistan, 10 kilometer depth, aftershocks continuing through Turkey. Man, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected there by the devastating earthquakes that they've had two weeks ago and continuing aftershocks. Scotia Plate, 5.0 earthquake there, South America reporting 5.1 in Peru. 4.0 and a 5.0 in Coquimbo, Chile. 
Puerto Rico is seeing activity increasing throughout the day today. Largest through the region was a 3.8 Dominican Republic and as well a 3.0 there, Cruz Bay, USA. Nicaragua seeing three earthquakes there, 4.7, ranging to 4.3 and 4.9, and way too quiet across the North American plate. Quiet through Alaska as well. We're just under 200 earthquakes in the past 24-hour period, according to USGS. Quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. We've seen multiple 6.0 and greater as well a couple pretty deep earthquakes there today through the Fiji region so I'd have to say heads up Cascades West Coast United States Eastern Ring of Fire way too quiet expecting something big here over the next 24 to 36 hours activity this week through the Antarctic plate into the Scot Scotia plate and as I said just way too quiet through the North American plate right now heads up let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today looking at Popopocatetl in Mexico as well as Sabancaya in Peru Semeru in Indonesia, most recently. A lot of floods popping up here, especially for Africa with Cyclone Freddy. Got Fuego in Guatemala. And that's not many volcanoes getting updated today. 181 active hazards, and about 60% of them are floods, especially through Africa. Having a look at satellite imagery here. Pretty large low pressure system through the Atlantic as well coming in off the East Pacific dumping copious amounts of snow across California Sierra Nevadas and then look at the track of Cyclone Freddy here this cyclone has been spinning for a month now started back on February 6th way back south of Indonesia and is now heading back to Africa and then back to Madagascar in this long-range forecast. Just some strange stuff happening across our planet right now, especially when it comes to weather. Increasing systems here through the Mediterranean in and around Europe. A bombardment of low-pressure systems coming. Let's have a look at the weather forecast here. We've got an Alberta clipper hanging out over Ontario, set to bring in flurries overnight. Low-pressure system affecting eastern Canada. And as well, big low pressure system here, Western United States. Put this into motion here for the next few days. As that low pressure system, East Pacific, grinds at the border of BC and Washington. Heading northward. And then watch for these low pressure systems to start raking in as high pressure ridge moves away. Possible extreme weather event there Wednesday. Colorado Low and Alberta Clippers joining forces this week over the United States Thursday into Friday. Extreme weather and as well heavy rains, coastal regions, United States. like you haven't seen enough moisture already. And then by that time, Friday into Saturday, at least 10 centimeters of snow for Ontario. And as well, winter storm here developing through the Canadian prairies, Alberta Clipper there, set to bring a grazing of snow across Southern Alberta and Saskatchewan and Northern Alberta. Have a look at the temperatures here for the next few days. Cold temperatures are springing down Wednesday into Thursday. Long range forecast. Looks like things are going to warm up here, maybe by the 20th, but still some pretty cool temperatures through the Canadian prairies. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times Thursday into Friday and highly energetic. So watch for a lot of lightning strikes, possible forest fires sparking up after that. And then overlooking South America, or sorry, South Africa, and the track here of Cyclone Freddy. 
as right now it's on the west coast of Madagascar and is going to be heading back to South Africa, parts of Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and then watch for it to head back yet again to the southern tip of Madagascar and then finally get ushered away into the South Antarctic. Wow. Interesting stuff. Overlooking Europe, as I said, you've got lots of moisture heading this way. One low-pressure system through the Mediterranean, one low-pressure system up over Finland, and then these pretty much a rain train coming in off the United Kingdom coastline, spreading into Central Europe for the next few days. And definitely not spring-like weather either. A lot of snow will be coming in from the north. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, no major typhoons or cyclones here developing. Could see something developing in the long-range forecast towards the Philippines. Then we get to Australia, where you've got quite an intense low-pressure system through the Northern Territory, who's going to take its time raking down the eastern parts of Australia. Watch for flood alerts and watches all across eastern parts of Brisbane, New South Wales, before that finally scoots away by the 12th or 13th of March. Leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as we do have quite a rain train heading in for the United States as well. Northern Pacific and Atlantic definitely seeing some velocities churned up over this last little bit. Long range forecast here towards the end of the month. This is what it looks like. Some big winter storms and some extreme weather coming out of the Gulf. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Please smack that like button, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.